17 drinks. That is how many a toxicologist testified today that former Cowboys player Josh Brent would have consumed to reach a blood alcohol level of 0.18. It is the third day of testimony in Brent's intoxication manslaughter trial. Rebecca Lopez spent the morning in the courtroom. She's been listening to everything and she's joining us live outside the county courthouse. On Rebecca. The stand this morning was the forensic toxicologist who tested Josh Brent's blood for alcohol. He works for Swiss, which is the lab that tests uh, here in Dallas County, and he confirms that Brent's alcohol level was 0.18. The toxicologist Justin Schwain testified in order for Brent to reach that level for a man his size, he had to drink 17 standard drinks. Brent told Irving police officers he drank fewer than five. The defense, under cross-examination, questioned Schwain on his expertise and how the tests were conducted. Also, the vials that Brent's blood were stored in, were they properly stored? They are also questioning the machine and the instruments used on and how they were calibrated and the additives used to test the blood. Schwain's testified, though, that the samples were not contaminated and were properly stored, and the tests were run according to industry standards. The the defense is trying to prove that Brent was not intoxicated at the time of the accident. And again, Brent is charged with intoxication manslaughter, but he's also charged with manslaughter. So if the jury is not convinced that he was in fact intoxicated, he could still be convicted on manslaughter.